Obviously, Mike, he is here uh, in support of Helena Folks, uh, first and foremost. He endorsed uh, Helena Folks in the campaign just a couple of weeks ago and joined, as you say, by Mayor Jorge Alors of Providence. Mayor, it's good to see you. It's great to be here. Um, so, obviously, the numbers aren't going exactly in the direction that the folks can't. We haven't called it yet, but it's not going in the direction the folks' campaign wants. I mean, uh, I still haven't checked to see where the un well the the uncounted votes are coming from, so that really depends. Um, but I got to say, just the fact that it's this close, mm. we're talking about a candidate who was virtually unknown throughout the state even just a month ago. Right. To be neck and neck with the sitting governor is really significant. So. We're all really excited and we're really hopeful and we'll see how the final count comes out. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of the assessment is that she had a great past couple of weeks, but maybe that momentum was uh, a bit too late. Monday morning quarterback here, uh, do you think the campaign could have gotten uh, more aggressive earlier on? You know, my, my take on it is that and I don't think it was so much the campaign. I think it's just the reality of campaigns throughout the country right now where there's so many undecided voters right up until the very end. And uh, I don't know, it, it, it's interesting. Over the past couple of years, there's so much... in. It, you know, intense emotions in um, in you think government. Voters are sick of it right now. Are I they just there's tired? Just like an apathy yeah. to it all. I mean, that's the end result of it all. And so it was really hard to get folks to pay attention. But I'll tell you what: as soon as they started paying attention, Helena folks just like shot through the moon. And uh, that's why we're at a point right now where it's neck and neck with her and uh, Dan McKee, the sitting governor. So I don't know how it's going to turn out, but just the fact that we're sitting here and it's this close is really significant. Uh, another race that we haven't called, but pretty close. Brett Smiley looks yeah. like he's pulling away. Uh, what, what's your reaction to that race? You had in endorsed uh, Gonzalo Cuervo in that race. So, um, yeah, it looks like uh, Brett is pulling away. And uh, I got to tell you, I got I to give him a lot of credit. He um, worked for you, of course. Yeah, he worked for me, so I've gotten to know him really, really well. And, uh, you know, I think we're at a point right now in the city where, um, you know, we're, we're poised to really take off and continue on this uh, path, if, not, if we're not there already, to be the greatest mid-sized city in the United States of America. And if it's Brett or if it turns out to be someone else, you know, I'm ready to do everything I can in my last three and a half months to make sure that that person is poised to success. Uh, for success, because if they succeed, our entire city succeeds. All right, final question before I send it back. Uh, you're term limited, and uh, you're not in a race. What's next for you, Mayor? To be honest with you, I really don't know. Um, I've been checking the Help Wanted ads. I hear you guys are hiring. <laughs> yes. I'll send my resume. Maybe you can put a good word in for me. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that in mind when we Let get your resume. All right, Mayor, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, well, look, excitement here at the Aloft Hotel, atop the Aloft Hotel in Providence, has turned a bit to trepidation as we watch those numbers come in. We haven't seen Helena folks yet, but, you know, obviously as this uh, race gets closer to being called, we'll probably uh, see her out here fairly soon for now send it back to you in studio.